For private real estate, there is also a term and reversion approach okay, under the income approach. So under this part, we have two sections. Okay, so let's say for example, a property you are renting now has two more years remaining on the contract. Okay, so with the rental currently at 180,000 level per year. So the rent will be reviewed at the end of the two years and the estimated rental value in the current market is 230,000 starting from year three onwards. Okay, so the all risk yield or cap rate on comparable fully let properties is 6% and a lower rate of 4% is considered appropriate to discount the term rent, which is 180,000. So estimate the value of the property using the term and reversion approach. So let's again draw the timeline. So we have at time zero. So in year one, okay, you have two more years to go. So year one, it'll be 180,000. In year two, it'll be another 180,000. And then the rent will be reviewed. And uh, potentially it could go up to 230,000. That's the current market rent. Okay, and then this goes on, uh, this, this amount here will be flat, 230,000 perpetually. Okay, right. Uh, Right, so in this case, uh, we need to value this perpetuity here starting from year 3 onwards. Okay, we call this the reversion amount. And then the 180,000 currently is called the term rent. Okay, so we need to PV these two using separate rates. So for 180,000, the growth is zero, as we can see here. Okay, it's level. So in this case, the discount rate for this will be 6%, uh, sorry, 4%, which is also the cap rate. Right, so in your uh, so first of all, we need to discount this two hundred and thirty thousand back into uh, year two. So we'll take two hundred and thirty thousand. We'll take two hundred and thirty thousand divide by six percent, which is the cap rate for this type of property. So that will so that will be equals to two hundred and thirty thousand divide by zero point zero six. So it's about three point eight three three million. So that is the PV, the terminal value. Okay, of the reversion amount. So you will need to discount this amount from year two, okay, back to year zero. Okay, and that will also be discounted using 6%. So we'll take this amount and divide by 1.06, okay, to power of two. So that'll be equals to 3.411 million. Okay, so this is the value of the reversion. And then the PV of the current term, okay, or the term contract, which is 180,000 here, we can PV this as well. So I can do this using your cash flow worksheet. So that's uh, 180,000, okay, for two years. NPV I is equals to 4% cap rate. Then NPV is 339,497. So summing this up, we get the value of the property. So that will be equals to 339497 plus 3411653. So that's 3751150. Okay, so that's the value of the property today based on the term and reversion approach. So take note that when you PV the term rent, we have to use the lower cap rate of 4%. And when we PV the reversion amount, we'll be using the cap rate of uh, 6%.